Yeah, first of all, credit to Coach Sampson in Houston. Uh, that was an impressive performance defensively. You know, um, I thought maybe we could uh, create some advantages in a game plan, but uh, they did a uh, probably a, like a, I'd say a masterful job defensively in, in their game plan in terms of what they did to us and what they took us out of in terms of their ball screen coverage. And so first and foremost, uh, Congrats to them on a great win. Um, you know, this league's a, I told our guys, this league's a, it's a, it's a bear. So you got to flush it and figure out how, what, what you can learn from and, and turn the page because uh, it's going to be battle after at, battle after battle. But uh, I can't imagine, you know, Houston's going to contend for the title here for sure. And uh, congrats to them on, on a good win. Well, you know, they did a – with Kerr, uh, Kerr's a pretty good point guard, but they, they knew they were going to have to get the ball out of his hands. And uh, we talk about hockey assists and, and basketball and, and trying to uh, get that one more pass. And, and, and Kirk turned it over several times, but we got it out of there for the most part, but we weren't making that next pass. And if we were early, uh, we got some decent looks, but they weren't falling for us. And so – you know, when they we're not rewarding ourselves with those good looks, uh, then the ball starts sticking, and we start creating uh, off the bounce. And Houston is not a team that you can create off the bounce uh, whatsoever. So uh, you got to create an advantage with the passing game against Houston, and we didn't do that. And then down low, Houston had I think like forty-eight to twenty advantage in points in the paint. Is that a bit of a surprise that they were able to do so much in the post? No, not really. You know, we're playing without a five man. Uh, we got uh, a cook, a cook out there starting at the five, and and Pat Sumnick uh, playing some minutes at the five to to help us down low. But our depth at the five is very minimal. You know, we it was one of my biggest issues going into this season was worrying about Jesse Edwards getting in foul trouble, and I never would have thought uh, I'd be worried about playing without him for four or five weeks, and. Uh, you know, it was a concern of mine not having a backup five, and now we don't even have a five. So rebounding has been a critical issue with us, and, and holding serve in the paint has been a critical issue. Uh, so uh, the points in the paint, the differential, I, you know, I didn't think it would be 48, but 48-20, uh, but that's what it ended up. Consistency. Consistency, and, and I just spoke with Co uh, Coach Sampson out there, and um, he's got defense in, in, in his pocket, and those guys are are scared to 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 not guard, and uh, that's a culture he's built here, and he's had time to build it, and he's done a an excellent job of uh, you know maintaining that culture. So uh, consistency each and every night, uh, trying to bring it and. Certainly, you know, with its home environment and a great home environment they have here, uh, it's they're going to feed off that. And, and but I think with uh, taking that defense on the road, I think that's going to travel for them. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, probably the the biggest thing that I saw on tape was the physicality. You know, they play with a tremendous amount of physicality and and. Uh, so you look at a game, you're like, okay, let's see how this game is going to be called. You know, pretty early whether you got an advantage or a disadvantage against a team that's you know plays that physical, and uh, consequently, you know, they go they they go ten minutes uh, without even being called a foul. And so I didn't think you know at that point I was like, it's it's not going going the way I thought it would. It's been a huge challenge. Um, I think uh, Mike Ganzi last weekend probably said it best. You know, former player and GM of the Cavs. You know, we practiced in his facility. He said, "He said, Josh. He says it's like you're 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 coaching a G League team because you've had so much uh, changes in your roster and rotation and and uh, yeah, we some some guys will 
transition one guy into the fold in, in second semester, I was trying to transition three. And at the meantime, I was trying to get, you know, healthy and and get a complete roster that I thought I was going to compete with with day one. And as soon as we got those three guys to transition in, Jesse Edwards gets hurt, my only five. So uh, it's been a challenge trying to figure out the, a game plan each and every night to put yourself in a position to win. Josh, you guys played some, some good teams. took Ohio State to overtime. Where did this heat team up to the plate, you know, being all the big 12 league teams over the years in the past, what's this Houston team bring? Uh, defensively, they're as good as any Big 12 team I've seen over the years. So, um, and defense wins championships. So, I don't see how they don't compete with anybody in the country, um, especially night in, night out against the Big 12 teams. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say they're limited scoring in the half court, but they have some challenges in the half court from time to time on the offensive end. But 100%, uh, uh, their defense is going to carry them to, you know, you very well could win this league, you know, going away. LJ Cryer, LJ Cryer years past, obviously you've seen him with Baylor. Uh, what do you see from him today? And is there any difference between how he was in Baylor versus today? No, he certainly bought in to the defensive mindset that they got here. And it's made him uh, uh, such a more balanced player, which is going to take him, you know, it's going to increase his value long term. So. Uh, you know, this this mentality here at Houston and what he's got going is, is impressive defensively. You sent some frustration out of your guys there late in the first half, maybe even in the second half. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody was frustrated. I mean, especially when you don't see some, you know, shots fall when, when you got open looks. That's uh, that kind of snowballed some of that frustration. And we got out of a – out of character in terms of what we were trying to do uh, defensively, and uh, some of that just got thrown out the window, and we weren't we weren't carrying the game plan over to the practice floor. You know, we had two or three good days of practice, but uh, you know, and I thought we had a pretty good game plan, but uh, you know, we didn't execute that game plan defensively. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thanks,